Introducing Alden Mills, entrepreneur, Navy SEAL, and author. I want to talk to you about being unstoppable. I want to inspire you to understand that there's only two things that make the difference between making the sale, making a dream come true, getting up every day, and executing. And those are actions and attitudes. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I think I have a little bit of an idea of your customer. And I also think I understand at the highest level what you're selling. You see, I was an ERP customer and I almost lost my business because I was too slow to bring in the ERP system. I thought QuickBooks could solve all my problems. I'd just keep putting Band-Aids on it. Wrong. What makes actions and attitudes go? This is the biology piece. That's the system, the brain, the body, and the emotions. But the most important thing is understanding the breakthrough of what's going on in the brain. You see, this is what we didn't learn about 20, 25 years ago. In 1998, these three scientists down in San Diego debunked something that we were all told in biology. You see, they would say, oh, by the way, the neurons, you're born with so many, and then they start dying off by the time you reach 30. Oh, by the way, that's a pathway, a neural pathway. These three scientists in San Diego, they discover that the brain, working with the body, can do neurogenesis. Neurogenesis all the way to the point of us being promoted. That would be the end of life as we know it. Neurogenesis is the production of more neurons. And it's not just the production of more neurons, it's the production of new pathways. But the problem with pathways, it goes against the way the brain is originally formed. You see, the brain and why we are continually at the top of the food chain as far as species go, is that we come with a survival instinct in our brain. We are pre-wired to avoid death. We are pre-wired to survive. But I really want to stress to you the importance of the scientific fact. I want to remove the excuses of the woulda, shoulda, couldas. And they do that very well at SEAL Team. They show up, you show up, and you work for about five weeks in a pre-phase holding cell. You're not with all the other guys who are already classed up, but you have, you're now meeting men from all across the country who've gone through multiple physical tests, multiple psychological tests. Everybody can run, swim, push, pull, do sit-ups. They all got it. But they don't let you class up. They make it mandatory to sit in five weeks of just going back through it. We're just going to work out. And then they tell you, OK, boys, we're going to do one more fitness test. It's the same one we've done three times already, a fitness test, just to confirm we are physically fit to start training. We started with 122 guys in that pre-cell, pre-phase. And by the time we classed up, after doing that fitness test, and every single one of those guys could pass it because we were only got stronger. Everyone had to pass to get into the group. We lost half the class. We were down to 64 from 122, and we hadn't even started training. How come? Whew. They got psyched out. They started seeing it, going, no way. I know that guy. He was in the class ahead of me. He quit. I'm not in. So I'm going to paraphrase, but this is pretty much how he says. He goes, boys, I'm going to tell you how to make it through training. Come to the other side and be a frogman with us. Yeah, it's real easy. You just got to figure out in your noodle what price you're willing to pay. That's all you got to do. You see, the problem is 80% of you here that price is going to be too high. You ain't going to pay that price. Oh, but for you other 20% that will pay the price, 
we're going to pound on you. Ho, 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 ho. And he gets kind of goofy looking. Right after that, the instructors come in and they go, boys. And they're not drill instructor likes. It's not like full metal jacket where you got this really hardcore drill instructor. It's more like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde personalities. And they go, boys, we got this really fun event coming up. We're gonna go over to the combat training tank. We'll run for about five miles and then we'll sit on the cold concrete for a little while. And I'm gonna tell you about your first pass fail challenge. Okay, a pass fail challenge. For me, it took me four years to get there. And it's the first day and they're already telling me I have an opportunity to fail. This is 25 weeks of training. So we go for a run, we get on the cold concrete and we're sitting there and they goes, okay, let me tell you the final exam right up front. You're gonna swim for about 200 meters and then you're gonna take a little break, just kind of float on the water, relax. And then you're gonna be in the nine foot section, you'll bob for about 10 minutes and then you'll go down on the ground and you're gonna pick up a mask with your teeth and bring it over to the pool. The neurons in the gut start firing, going, hmm, that doesn't sound right because the swim test is an 800 meter swim test. What's the catch? Brain's going, oh, no problem, we can do this. Until they go, oh, I forgot to tell you. We're gonna tie your feet together and tie your hands behind your back. <laughs> what? This is drown proofing. This is what they teach you in the first week. You know what the brain processor's doing? The one that's been wired to survive is saying, uh, danger, this is not normal. <laughs> Don't do this. But what it is doing is it's throwing a challenge out to the brain. It's throwing a challenge out to the brain so you can have a conversation right away with your attitude and saying, okay, who's in control? Is the attitude the one that's going to grab the throttle, push it down and say, no, no brain, we're going, we're doing it. Well, because they told the final exam right up front, they got what they wanted. They were expecting it. They had a guy right behind them with a clipboard and the bell. Two guys got up and walked out. They didn't even try. But you see, it's actually not that impossible. Uh, don't look at that guy right there. He's trying to get the mask. <laughs> or uh, this guy, he's trying to get to the surface. But when you break it down into little bite-sized pieces, and they don't throw you in the deep end of the pool right out of the gate. No, they tie your feet together. And they just teach you how to learn to use your feet as one. And then they put their arms behind their back and you hold a rope and you learn to swim like a dolphin using your head to your feet. And then when it's all said and done, they teach you how to use your lungs like a buoyancy compensator. And after that, you got it. And another interesting thing is that if guys are having a hard time but they're really trying, the instructors get in the water and they help you. You see, the instructors want you to pass, but they aren't going to tell you that until they start to see the actions and the attitudes coming from you. So why do I end with this? And those stories that I tell you about the actions and the attitude of going through SEAL training, we're not going to go through SEAL training here. We're most likely not going to do a halo jump either. But I've got to tell you, for some of your customers, Jumping off the end of one of those C-130s, that's about what it's like month after month after month. And I know some of the partners in here and the businesses that you run, because you have your own businesses. Am I gonna make it this month? Am I gonna make my quota? Well, here's the most important thing about this picture. You see, there's two ways to go off the ramp other than being kicked off by your instructor. You can go feet first, or you can go head first. And you see these guys, those are swim buddies. You see what I didn't tell you, at the end of Hell Week, you get assigned a swim buddy. And when you get assigned a swim buddy, guess what happens to the success rate? 
90% make it. You lose almost 80% in the first six weeks. But then you get a partner, you get assigned a swim buddy, and now you've linked arms. Those are swim buddies taking that jump together. You see, Acumatica has a term for a swim buddy. If you were here yesterday, listening to Ali, he calls it a productive partner. Acumatica has already called it out. They said, look, we're not doing direct sales. We're doing this strictly through partner the whole way. You see, the attitude that allows you to be unstoppable is an all-in attitude. The attitude that allows you to jump off with your swim buddy head first is all in, all the time. The attitude that's going to prove to a customer like me who is scared about bringing in a system that I don't know anything about has not to do with the promise, that's a check. Has not to do with the process, that's a check. It has to do with the people. It has to do with the all-in attitude all the time. And Acumatica is saying to you at this conference, we're all in. Who's with us? Who's going to jump off of this plane with us into this business? It's 2016. Every industry has challenges. But I'm going to tell you right now, an all-in attitude, when you partner up, and I'm a CEO and I'm sitting there, like I heard in a breakout session yesterday of an Acumatica VP of sales saying, look, you need our help, we're there. We're not taking your business. You succeed, we succeed. That's a partnership. That's how you make great companies. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Welcome. For more, contact your Speakers Bureau.